Hello guys, but your boy Tommy here. Um, back in the temple build. It's been locked down for a while. Um, generally because it lags out and stuff like that. You know, it, when people come in, it tends to lag out. I have been optimizing my custom blocks, um, and I have over the last couple of weeks managed to get shot at about 500 of them. So chuffed with that. Um, so after getting rid of the 500, I've managed to replace them with 3,000. So never mind. Things will improve hopefully when the uh, optimization gets released. Um, now this wall, uh, it's all freehand, so I've just did the decoration freehand. Um, it's my own pattern, and I just made it up as I went along. Um, some people like it, some won't. It's very colourful. Um, looks like the old uh, rainbow unicorns threw up all over it, but I quite like it. So. There you go, that's that's one of the walls. I'm going to use copy and paste by the way, to put that on the other one, so I can't be bothered to spend hours redoing it. Because I had to take a do one side, then take a photo, and then do the other side. Because I couldn't remember how I did it in the first place. Now, copy and paste. I will be using it. Um, obviously, I'll test the game as well, so. Um, I do like using copy and paste. I've uh, mucked around with it. And I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bang a couple of them either side of me uh, reflection pool. So another two of them, change the heads, change your arms around, and do that. Um, it's not going to be cheating because trying to copy them buggers is an absolute nightmare. And there's your reflection pool. So another two either side. And I have been uh, building something new. So we'll have a look at that now. Okay, so this is a little battle scene. So the sun on the temple with the skull in. Um, that's actually one of the lava beast's eggs. So this guy's coming to claim his egg back and all hell's broke loose. So big battle scene. Um, We'll just, I'll just run through all the, the little details I've got in there for you. Just get a nice one there. Okay, so let's get down to business. So we've got a little group of soldiers there. Being hit by a big blob of lava. Absolutely kippered they are. Not looking too healthy. We've got the uh, temple guardians coming in. To see if they can uh, help anyone out. They're fully trained in combat and uh, the medical arts, the Temple Guardians, so they're handy to have in the fight. Now this guy here, um, this guy obviously lets work get on top of him, so I don't feel sorry for him whatsoever. We've got one of, one of the smaller tanks, is just been absolutely kippered. It's all in bits, so a little bit of tidying up to do with that one. There's the Temple Guardians having a look at a few more of the wounded there. And there's a sort of a, a scale, a scale shot so you can see the scale of this thing. Now then, this is one of my smaller tanks. This is the, the knackered one was under his hand. Um, it's all pistons and uh, hydraulics, very steampunk. And we've got a little dude in there, hello. Controlling it. And he's got his little control panel there. And it looks like he scored a shot on the old arm there. And we've got blood squirting out all over the place. So a direct hit. Booyah. Now let's have a closer look at the old beastie. You can see his eyes change colour. Supposed to reflect his mood. <laughs> He's a little bit miffed at the minute. Um Looks like you do with a bit of a tongue scraping as well. 
I'm finished in here, by the way. Um, I've got a bit of work to do in there. <coughs> Excuse me. Now this prototype scorpion tank, only one in existence. All hydraulics on the legs. Got my steam outlets. The bottom. This is one of the uh, one of the claws. Get yourself stuck in there. You'd be well knackered. Got two uh, main lasers on the front. And the temple guardians are the only ones allowed to drive this thing. This is their baby. So. There's one of the older dudes keeping toots on things. Got a few of the workings. There's the underside. Everything's moving there. All the works. Pull around. And then we've got one of the guards. He's allowed to use the uh, directional laser. So he's kicking off there. He scored a hit on the hand, I think. And the hatch is open, so we can gun in. So we'll have a little, little wander in, see what the crack is. There's the old temple guardian keeping toots on things. It's got a good view, good view out there. Got all the, the workings for the legs. Got our pressure gauges and that. Should be a few more dudes in here, but I've had to take them out because I kind of get moved. Got a couple of dudes watching all the, the main engine. Make sure everything's running smoothly. Keeping the lasers working and what have you. Now we've got all the works going on on the floor. Driving the legs. There you go, that's the inside of it. Not a bad build. Um, it's nearly all custom blocks. So, can't really copy and paste that one. <laughs> I can't be bothered to build another one. That's why I build a smaller one than there. Um, big overview of the battle going on. Got a lot of tidying up. I've got some <clears throat> mountain scenery and that add round here. Um, but I'll do that later. Trees and stuff like that to get in. So there you go. Thank you for watching. Keep smiling now. Ta-ra.